that was a great second period for Garrison White, even though Polakowski technically winning on the scoreboard. He has a minute of riding time, so going to the third period, if it stays like this, you know, White has the opportunity to escape, and, you know, he has that riding time, so we have to remember that as well. We'll have to double-check the score again. Polakowski, Polakowski definitely in the lead, but it might be another point or two. I, I did not see how they scored that late, look, what appeared to be a take two-point takedown at the end of the first period. Yeah, I definitely agree with you on that. I think I think it might be a little too late now to review. Uh, the Minnesota coaches didn't challenge it, but now that was an interesting call for Palakowski, almost uh, taking down Garrison White. You'll see it on your screen right now um, towards the end of the period right there. It was a very questionable call. Ref didn't see it, and it doesn't look like Minnesota is going to be challenging the call. It is a 4-3 advantage. Polakowski, and as we said in the intro, this is one of the key matches if Northwestern wants to possibly upset the Gophers. They need to get, at minimum, three points here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this is huge for either wrestler, you know. Minnesota standpoint, they want to start the duel off with the, with the victory. They've been struggling a little bit at these lower weights. And then Northwestern wants to break this uh, duel streak, you know, they got going for them. They want to win this one, especially against a Big Ten foe like Minnesota. So this will be huge for either wrestler. Garrison White does get out. All right, we are 4-4, <laughs> riding time in White's favor. Looks like he is now over a minute in riding time, unofficially 128, as you see on your screen. So it's going to be an exciting last 94 seconds here in the opening match between the Gophers and the Wildcats. Now, if you're Polakowski here, you're aware that White does have that riding time point, so he does pull off an attack. That's what you have to do if you want to, you know, get the get a takedown. You got to take the opportunities and chances. But something you got to be aware of when you're taking these opportunities is you, if you get in guys on guys like White, or eventually when we see Jamison Oster, they're very scramble. They scramble a lot, and that you know sometimes you don't have to shoot to score, and that's what White and Oster does at 141. They kind of react to the situations that they're given, and that makes them dangerous both offensively and defensively. There's a stalemate call, minute three remaining. Adam Rosso alongside Johnny Sebastian. They're watching Friday Night Wrestling on Big Ten Plus. Opening match, Garrison White, Steve Polakowski. We're knotted at four as we approach 50 seconds remaining in the opening match. For those of you who don't know anything about really Steve Polakowski this year, uh, going back and forth between uh, Skylar Petrie and Polakowski. However, Polakowski has beaten the returning NCAA national finalist, uh, Zeke Moisey, from West Virginia at the, uh, I believe it was the Southern Scuffle. So, you know, Polakowski can wrestle with the best of them. You know, it, it really just depends on who shows up what day, and that's, what, that's the glory of, you know, Big Ten wrestling. You have guys at 125 who they don't really know who their clear-cut starter is, yet they beat the returning national finalist. So Polakowski is good, and he's going to see if he can, you know, beat Garrison White with the last uh, 20 seconds or so. He needs that takedown, as you said, Johnny. Riding time in favor of White. And the two wrestlers tangle. 14.8 seconds. We'll see what... Polakowski can do if he can score the late takedown or if White holds him off and gets the riding time point for the decision. Garrison White retreating. Polakowski going forward. You see the stall call. It's a good call by the referee. It's just a matter of if he has enough time. And Garrison White is going to start this one off for a victory for the Wildcats. That's what the Wildcats need to see. And you know, all their guys are jacked up, pretty excited about that. And 